DEPS is a cloud-based system that allows both you and your students to manage all things related to clinical education. Right now I'm logged into the student side. On their dashboard, your students are able to see if they have any immunization or health records that are pending, expired, or disapproved. Under my current placement, they are able to see where they are currently going out for the rotation. They are also able to complete any activities needed. Information status lets them know what parts of their profile they have or have not completed. Over in my profile section, students are able to input their information. All we need is their name, email, and class year. The rest of their information is totally up to you whether or not you'd like to collect it. On the required documents page, students will be able to see a list of all the required documents where they can easily upload the documents for approval. Required documents are any and all documents that you want to collect from your students. They can be immunizations, certifications, physical exams, and more. The list is color coded to make sure it's clear as possible for students. Green means a document has been approved, red means a document has been disapproved, white means the document is pending, and yellow means the document is about to expire. If a document is disapproved, the student can click on the red icon to see the notes for where their document was disapproved. So then they can make the necessary changes. After my profile, students will want to go to the wish list. This is where students will select their sites and their preferences for rotations. They can have a core wish list and an elective wish list. Looking at the core, setting, core site setting wish list, students can rank their preferences for each one of their core rotations. A student can click on the site to find out more information. Students will click to add or remove all the sites they are satisfied with. Now, students can rank slots. After they have submitted this, they will be able to see it on your end. You can run our auto placement algorithm that will take, you, take into consideration all the student wish list, slots available, and then it will place students for you to maximize student preferences. You can make any edits or changes to the placements, or you can manually place students to sites yourself. Once students have been assigned placements, students can go to their placement tab, where they can see a list of all their different rotations. They can see all the information you have about the site, the other students assigned there, and contact information. Under the to-do list, students will complete all their assignments. They can enter in information on their preceptor, log patient encounters, manage site-specific documents, SOAP notes, journal entries, timesheets, evaluations, and much more. Moving on to patient logging. This is a customizable form where you choose what information you want to collect from your students. We provide you a starting template and you can make changes from there. Students can add ICD-10 codes and search through our list to add the codes they want. If you want your students to log CPT codes, they can do that as well. Students can add procedures where they can distinguish if they observed, assisted, or performed it. This can be used through our search function or you can create a Dropbox template for common procedures. After students have logged patients, they can view their patient log report to see data on all their patient encounters. They can choose to show this by a specific rotation or across all rotations. If you require your students to have mandatory minimums, students can check to make sure they are reaching their numbers. The admin view looks similar to this. You can pull all the data from your students' patient logs. Students can also complete evaluations. For example, they can do an evaluation of their preceptor, and preceptors can do an evaluation in return. Lastly, students can visit the school course tab to find out more information on the program and course documentation. They can also visit the FAQ section. This will save you a ton of time because every year students will ask the same questions. Now let's dive into the admin side. Your dashboard will look a little different than the student side. You will have a site dashboard, a batch dashboard, and a calendar dashboard. Site dashboard is a great place to pull information about contracts that are about to expire or pull a report from your site visits and assessments. Your batch dashboard is where you are going to be able to pull all the information for your students, their profile, roster, list of documents for review, emergency contact information, and much more. You can send group emails to the entire classroom here. Your calendar dashboard is where you'll manage your slots. You can click on total slots to see everyone who has offered you placements for your students. You can send out slot requests to sites where they can input any availability they have directly into the XSET system. You can look at each site in detail and see how many slots they offered you. 
You can also look into site details where you can enter all the information you have for your sites. You can manage documentation, requirements, staff contracts, communications, and much more. Speaking of sites, under clinical personnel, you can manage all the personnel and preceptors that you have. You can click on staff members to see information regarding their board certifications, licensure info, CV, and any of the sites they work with. Once you have all the slots from your sites, you can go into the placements tab where you can assign students for their placements. You can manually assign a student to a placement or you can use our algorithm to auto place students. If you want to manually assign a student, you look at the table for the students and rotations and then you click to add a site. A list of the available sites will pop up and you can assign the student. You can easily unplace a student as well. After your students have been placed to a site, you can send notifications to students to show them their rotation list, and you can send notifications to sites to notify them about which students will be working at their site, that specific rotation, or across all rotations. Use post placements to see all the information the students have completed when they are out on their rotation. You can manage information on preceptors, send evaluation forms to preceptors, view completed evaluations, student patient logs, and much more. If you click Evaluation Summary, you can see a list of all your evaluations. You are able to see who has submitted their evaluations and who has not. You can also add grades to the system. You can click on any bubble to view the evaluations from the students. We can implement your grading rubric to add weight to each evaluation. Keep in mind that the evaluation reports are going to be custom to you as we are going to take your evaluations, put them into the system, and then generate reports based off of those. Under the Reports section, we have a host of reports that you are able to run. If you don't see a report that you would like to run, we are happy to create one for you. This sums up a basic overview of the Access system from student and admin view. Thank you for listening.